everyone, I am Rabab Zehra from TechX Media. We are at Jaisik Global 2025 and I have with me right now Mr. Deepak Raghunathan. He is CEO at Verix Technologies and Cloudborn. Along with him, I have Mr. Foss. He is Chairman and Managing Director at Verix Technologies and Cloudborn. So let's welcome both of them on TechX Media. Hi, how are you? Thank you, Rabab. Thank you for having us again. Uh, so last time when we talked, it was JISEC 2024 and now we are at JISEC 2025. So tell us um, uh, how has been the year for the company and uh, what are you showcasing this time at JISEC? Yeah, we have grown uh, tremendously since we met last year and we have now many customers in the region, uh, especially in the UAE. And we also expanded uh, into in India and Sri Lanka as well. And we are at, at the moment in the process of expanding in Saudi Arabia for the region. And the, the product has been uh, you know, really matured now. And we are also including many AI uh, modules into the system as well. Great. Uh, so you just talked AI with everything. Uh, everyone talks is talking about AI. AI is everywhere. How do you think that the next evolution of uh, uh, digital transformation will happen uh, with, with this AI? That's an excellent question. So in order to answer this question, I have to uh, just brush our memories on how we have emerged in the last few decades that have gone by. Um, right from the advent of internet, that is when really the digital explosion began. Um, we started with simple activities of digitization, accessing information, uh, using search such as Google, uh, which has shaped our thinking and um, our businesses today in many ways. Now, in the first decade, it was all about having a dot-com website. In the second decade, we had many applications that became cloud-centric and hosted. In the third decade, it was all about speed, like you don't bank uh, the way you used to bank two decades ago. Uh, you don't uh, order food the way you used to go to restaurants. Now, everything has become digital-centric. So if you look at an average human being today, uh, what are we really doing at? You know, to we want a coffee, we look up to our phone. You want to transfer money, you look up your phone. Correct. You want to order a movie, you open Netflix or yeah. Amazon Prime. So everything that we do there from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed is influenced by digital. Yeah. Now, you are searching for all of that. And you've got some of that information readily accessible through search engines and Googles of the world. But if you now see all the world's knowledge has been bundled and that access to that knowledge is freely available to everyone on a ChatGPT, on a yes. Google Gemini, or on a Microsoft Copilot, you know, whatever you want to call. Which means that the barrier to information is broken. Mm -hmm. The barrier to knowledge and expertise is broken. You don't need a specialist anymore. You can get good amount of fundamental or deep research data from AI itself. Yeah. Now, AI is still acting on conversationally. Earlier, you, you were using digital as tools, um, as enablers. And now you're using digital as a conversationist, which means like it's as good as talking to a human being and getting a response. Pretty much in any language, any translation, any subject, any author, the barrier is broken. Now, these systems that we were using are going to get more intelligent because it also has access to the same knowledge, and it is AI, in a way that access to that knowledge. Now, if you take an average human being, you're influenced by many smart systems in your life. You may have two phones, you may have a smart watch, uh, you may drive a smart car, you may have a smart television. And in the years going by, what is going to distinguish between which is human generated and which is machine generated is going to be a big question, be it B2C or B2B. And I think that's where we are in a foothold of transformation because no one can now say that that knowledge is not accessible or available. It is available. It's available, it is accessible. So now how transformation is, is not about knowledge, it's about how you're going to put that knowledge to good use. Yes. And how are you going to determine that this knowledge is good for you, for humanity, for businesses, for consumers, that distinction is going to be a, another big differentiator and challenge because the level of knowledge is still not the same. Yes. Now, if you're looking at some deep subject, ChatGPT may still give you great reference points and great information about that subject but how much are we competent to interpret it in the right way? Yes. And you. how much is ChatGPT competent to give you the right interpretations? It's going to give up perspectives. So we are moving away from search, indexing, knowledge to perspectives now. And perspectives means it's 
knowing a situation as it is or interpreting, interpreting a situation in many different ways as a system. So how are we going to look at the system holistically? And that's where I think the concept of observability is emerging. To be able to look at simple things from a machine point of view or from a human point of view and distinguish which is working for you, which is performing for you, which is productive for you, which is rightly interpreting for you, to which is not. And that visibility, that control, that management, that access, all this is going to get stitched into a straight line. And I think that's where the true transformation is going to be. How are we going to get everything to see in the right perspective? And I think that's what is going to be the big challenge as we move into yeah. a transformative world with AI. That's really insightful and you have summed it up uh, really well that a lot of information is there and now it's up to us and the organization that what to choose, what to pick and how to build your perspective with that. So that was great uh, conversation. It was uh, great talking to you as always. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you so much. Appreciate sure. it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned to the next to know more about what is happening at Jaisik Global 2025. Goodbye.